Welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at Switchboard Canvas just released on AppSumo. And what this is, is it's basically going to be an AI um, content generation type software um, specify, specifically dealing with graphics and images. Um, so I don't know if you know anything about uh, batch uh, image production in Photoshop, but there's ways that you can uh, basically do some batch image production where you could actually um, have, let's say, 100 uh, images for Instagram, and you can go in and use some sophistication and some plugins inside of Photoshop to change out a certain element on uh, 100 different images and add somebody's logo. And I've used to do this, actually, um, and sell this, these services on Fiverr, and it works really well. There's a really big need um, for that type of service. Uh, so you can, this uh, switchboard canvas is going to take that to a whole nother level and 10 exit. There's going to be a lot of things that you can do inside of here. We're going to, going to be looking at some of the uh, really awesome things that you can do with switchboard canvas. Um, and then some of the really, uh, there's some things that kind of get techy uh, where you are going to need to get down and down and dirty into coding. And so for any of you that do, uh, coding, um, and programming, then this tool is going to be um, very useful for you. Um, and for those of you that don't want to get involved with any technical elements, um, then this software may not be for you. But we're going to look, take a look at it. And this is Switchboard Canvas, uh, save time by automating your image and video creation. Now, I will say that if you did spend the time to fully set this up and learn this, uh, I'm just going to um, just preface the, the rest of the review by saying that there is going to be a pretty big learning curve with switchboard canvas. This is not like a picking up um, and using Canva where uh, anybody that knows how to push, um, you know, use a mouse and a keyboard can use Canva to create graphics because um, it's, it's, it's different, right? And it's, it's template based. Well, Switchboard Canvas is going to, uh, you're going to need a little to, to know a little bit more. You're going to need to uh, learn a little bit more in order to fully use Switchboard Canvas. But there's some really cool things that if you um, actually stick it out and learn it, um, where you would be able to basically have all of your images for social media on any platform, Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, um, Pinterest, etc., um, all of your images could be done for you. You can even get this set up to where um, you get YouTube thumbnails automatically created for you as well. So uh, this starts at $69. It only has one review so far, but they did give it a five uh, taco. Uh, I've never used Banner Bear, but it is an alternative to that. This is best for social media marketers, bloggers, and advertisers who want to save time on image and video production. Save hours by automating your image and video content production. So that is what this tool is designed for. You can come through and look at the different things that you can do with this. Um, we're going to go over to the site real quick, but there is different licensed tiers. It is interesting on the AP, API calls that you're getting 100,000 API calls on tier three for $200. And for $70, you're only getting 5,000 API calls. So you are uh, really, they are very much incentivizing you to go to tier three because for just a little bit more than double the price, you're getting 10, you're actually getting, what is that, 10, 20 times more the amount um, for just a little over twice as much cost, right? But you're getting 20 more times. So um, I like to look at those things to see how much you're actually getting. License tier one to tier two is not a very big jump. You you get the typical twice as much, right? And you pay twice as much. But if you go, if you're willing to go a little bit more and go to license tier three, then they're going to give you 10 times that, right? So pretty cool stuff. And you can read all the uh, announcements um, and, and so forth. Uh, not a robot. I see them do a lot of reviews. Um, and buy a lot of product and they even though there's there's a lot of things that they're that, that they're saying it's missing that they need to um, continue you know to produce uh, they still gave it a five toggle because it's just a pretty insane uh, technology that we're going to be looking at so let's go to the uh, the site over here this is what the site looks like and I just want to scroll down real fast and well I guess let's go back and look at what the pricing would look like um, so it would actually be twenty dollars to get started using this monthly, right? Um, and then it would be $79 for the agency plan per month and then 300 a month for the enterprise, uh, 100,000 API requests per month. So this is $299 per month for the enterprise and you're going to get the 
Um, I'm not really sure if you're going to get the enterprise everything in the enterprise, but you are getting 100,000 API calls per month, and you're only paying $200 one time. Uh, and this looks like it's worth $3,588. Uh, let's actually do the calculation. If it was 300 times 12 months, uh, you're looking at yeah, $3,600 $3, per year that you would spend on this. But you could just pay $200 one time and be done with it. So super cool stuff. Um, so it does. I like to kind of cross check that to make sure that the uh, lifetime deal really is a really good deal worth picking up. Uh, you can just see kind of an introduction of what it does. But here's some cool stuff. So um, this right here, you can take a tweet. You can just take a tweet, put it in there. Um, and but you would have to you have to create this template inside of here. So you're going to have to learn how to do this. This is just on their website showing you kind of some cool things that it can do. But it's going to basically make an image out of your uh, Twitter uh, tweet. So basically, if you um, are heavy on Twitter and you just create a, a quick tweet, you can actually have this set up and scheduled to go out there and grab your tweets for the day and make images out of them. And then you could go and uh, post these on Instagram. You could automatically have it perfect size for Instagram and Facebook and so forth. And you can actually share these across your social network. So that's really cool. It's going to create some efficiency for you. Um, another cool thing, uh, I'll go over to one of my websites. We'll just grab maybe um, how to stay motivated when uh, losing weight. And we'll just grab this URL right here from this site, right? And then we'll come back over here and we just as a test, we can actually do this. I'm gonna paste that in and say, make an image. Now look what it's doing right over here. Check this out, super cool. It's actually going out there and it just created this. It took an image that was on the site right there and it said how to stay motivated when losing weight. And then it takes the site and spider motivation. And then you've probably heard all the advice on how to stay motivated while losing weight, but how do you actually keep, and then boom, it stops. So it captures the interest and then you could click on, uh, and then it could lead people to clicking and going over to your site to actually read this. So you could put this on Instagram or you could put this on uh, Facebook or, or Pinterest or something like that. Right. So um, those are some of the cool example things that you could actually do with this. But like I said, there's going to get some, get into some, some coding that you're going to have to end up doing. Um, and we're going to go in and log in real quick. Okay. So we're logged in and um, under the templates, oh, let's see, we have some different templates over here, tweet, uh, Twitter header, golden gate bridge. And uh, so those are just like some images. So you can go over to the template library. And before we do that, um, I think you can go over to the welcome area and come down here. And um, I did watch these videos. Uh, I did want to share one thing with you. Um, like over here, for example, if we push hey, play, up? this is Adam from switchboard. And in this video, I want they have a, a good training videos and this is the guy that created it and he knows his software, but I just wanted to show you, um, how he's showing how you might need to use, uh, well, you need to use uh, one of these other, uh, places where you can write coding, uh, put an API uh, from switchboard into, uh, what he's using, he's using postman. Um, and you're going to put in the API and put in um, the API code and different things. You're going to come through here and then you're going to need to start writing uh, what you want right here. Right. So um, I, I don't know about you, but this is where I uh, kind of get overwhelmed and I'm, I, I don't really want to learn the coding there it, for people that know coding. This is no problem and it's not intimidating at all. But for people that don't, I don't want to learn coding just to use this application. And so um, I would probably pass on this part right here. Um, but certainly you can get it to where um, if you had this image, it would change out um, each. So each part of the image right here, um, you could have a different um, image and the name could change according to the image and everything. And it would just automatically create 50, 100 images for you. If, um, in this case, it's for a conference, right? Um, so there's some cool things that you can do um, with that. And there are some training videos and some things to do right there. I think that they need to do more. Um, I believe that they do have a YouTube channel where all the training is going to be. They just have the la probably the last three featured videos right there, but you're probably going to just need to go uh, to their channel. I'll just click YouTube real quick, push pause, and then come back over here and click on switchboard. And here are, uh, here is the, so it looks like they have four videos right here. Switchboard canvas, create a dynamic sports 
uh, score image. Um, so I, I think that they need to um, have more of a robust training system. Um, that's one thing that I would point out because uh, me as a, a software user daily, someone that might want to use this, um, it's it's a little intimidating um, having to jump into doing all this code. Um, I would like to see it um, easier to, to use. Um, certainly they're going to need more training uh, videos um, to for people like myself if I wanted to use this. Um, but we're going to go over here and check out the template library. And once you get into the template library, they have different um, things right here, Twitter uh, quotes over here. And we're going to go over to social and we'll just click on one right here. So if we click on this one, um, I'm just going to say yes. And it's going to open up this designer right here. Okay. Um, and you can actually design uh, something in Canva, but you need to be careful with the text elements and uh, things that are on top of an image inside of Canva. It's going to come in as one image and you won't be able to actually move things around um, inside of Canva. So I would recommend just uh, bringing in the image and then uh, anything text related, you're probably going to want to use a uh, switchboard for because here's what uh, where the magic actually starts happening. You can do all kinds of different notice each one of these is going to be a different API name, right? And that's where you're going to have these codes. So if you if you use a uh, Zapier, and I believe you're be, you'll be able to use like Google Sheets, you could actually have a column that just says, uh, tech, you know, maybe it's text three and you would, let's say, put 50 different, uh, texts right here that you want to change. And then once you connect all that up and you push enter, it's going to go and create all those images for you, um, automatically. So super cool. I'm not going to show how to do that. <laughs> that would get really, really involved. And that would take me the entire day of learning how to use the software. And I'm, I don't think it's necessary because I can show you enough inside of this review on what this uh, software is all about. <clears throat> They have shortcut codes. Uh, they have um, the actual um, coding right here that you could call your template using the Switchboard Canvas API. And then you can download this image straight up from here. You can just push this download and it's gonna download the image. Um, so uh, one of the really cool things that we can do now is we can actually come over here to the sizes and we can uh, change this to different sizes. And notice the text and everything uh, like magically just stays to a real, uh, really good, um, you know, like right here, the profile right here, we would probably need to fix that a little bit. We would need to fix it a little bit. And maybe on this particular one, we would go like that. But for the most part, everything else is really, really good. Yep. It stays. And then you just keep going through here and, uh, Twitter got different Twitter, um, posts and so forth and then you come down here there's facebook cover um you would just you know fix this up where you want to go and you can actually use this it's just uh, um, automatically uh, creating these based on just the image right and so uh, we can keep coming down here and you got your ads right here uh, blog post photo um, so you could use these um, that's really good for your blog post um, using this for blogging and then you start getting into pinterest uh, so here's the recommended pin right here um, and then and so forth. So it just you have you have a five paper, right? And then you and then here's a YouTube thumbnail. You can go YouTube thumbnail and then look, oh, I want to use this for my profile photo or my banner image. Right. Um, and then you could even come in here and, um, you know, make this bigger. Um, oh, right over here with the size and so forth. So you could even use this as a service. So if someone came over and they wanted you to make a series of images for you, for them, you could um, upload the image, right? And we could even go in and change this image out. We can go to unsplash. And if we wanted to just grab um, an image over here. Okay. For whatever reason, I wasn't able to add the unsplash image that may be because I'm on a free uh, account. I'm not really sure, but we're going to go over here and see if we can change the image from in here. I'm going to go ahead and just push upload. And we'll grab that image right there. We'll upload. We'll select and push OK. So now we've switched the image out. OK. And then now we could come in here and actually change uh, where we want things to uh, end up being. I'm just going to move that down here, right there, and so forth. So now you have your different images right here. And you could use this for all kinds of different social media platforms, right? And it automatically will change uh, the text according to. Uh, see how right there it spreads the text out and 
Um, for the most part, it's very accurate. Uh, sometimes you'll have to make some adjustments to each one, but it does a pretty good job. So um, that is what you're going to get with Switchboard. Um, of course, like I said, um, there are a lot more things involved with this. I'm not going to show in the review. As far as getting into the nitty gritty of the coding and uh, connecting APIs and going on a mass scale, but essentially, um, yeah, once you the learning curve is over and you learn how to use the tool completely, you will be able to uh, churn out um, creating. Um, you would pick, I believe you can pick f up to five uh, of the of the different image types that you need. So let's say you need a thumbnail, you need a Pinterest pin, uh, you need a LinkedIn uh, post, and then you need uh, something for Instagram and something for Twitter. Boom. Then, uh, then you could go in and let's say you have 20 different images. You could actually go in and create 20 times five, right? A uh, five uh, unique images per image. Um, and you could really start scaling your, uh, image production, um, intelligently and using um, these APIs and using this um, AI engine. So that is what Switchboard can do for you. If this is something that you um, could use in your business um, and you want to start using automation for images in your business, then um, I think that this would be really good for you. There is a link below if you want to go check it out and get the lifetime deal while it's available. Um, and then, like I said, if this, if you're not very tech savvy, this may not be the software um, for you. So um, that's just kind of putting that out there being honest with you uh, but um i can't fault them for uh any anything that i saw in here that's that's wrong with the software uh, looks really cool really cool technology going on here just going to be a little bit harder to get to know than most of the other softwares we look at um, so that's it for my review on switchboard uh, canvas and i hope you enjoyed this if you did hit that like button make sure to subscribe to LearnWire, and i'll see you in the next video